Hearts, hearts, glorious hearts. Anyway, guys, aye, the, the boys in Maroon, all that good stuff. Well, they picked up a draw at Easter Road. Who was better off with the draw? Honestly, I think you could make arguments for both. Hibs really couldn't afford to lose this game. As for Hearts, well, their start to the season has been awful in the league, but Neil Critchley had won two or two, so he, he could probably afford to lose it. I think Davy Gray couldn't afford to lose this game, but a draw, in a weird way, suits all parties. We've already talked about it. Let's dive in to what the people think. Jamie Dahl says, start him over Shankland versus Kelly. Yeah, Shankland not had the best start to the season. I don't think you can disagree with that. Kat Reina says, team, football lovers. Resilience pays off. Wilson's equaliser saves the day. All these bot accounts, brilliant. Um, same as you, football lovers. <sighs> brilliant. Adam, celebrating a draw. Tin pot. I don't think any Hibs fan is really in the, the predicament to say tin pot to anybody else's club. Um, that's just my humble opinion. Adam, another Adam, says, we weren't at it today, but one team tried to play football. All they do is punt, punt, punt. Not ideal, but we take it. Anything to stop them winning. Yeah, and that's what you've got is doing these games, your rival games. But no, it's mad, man. When was the last time Hibs won one of these? Feel, it feels about a million years ago. I mean, obviously it won't be a million years ago because that's theoretically impossible, but at the same time, it, it feels like donkeys ago. Um, Marty Muzz says, well done, James. Great goal. Poor team performance overall, though. Joe says, poor stuff, but worse for them than us, and fantastic moment for Wilson. It is. And here, yeah, it's always it's always a good thing to see youth players coming through and getting their chance to shine, and that is exactly what you've seen here with Big Wilson. There is no two. I mean, he's been able to shine. He's shone through, shine red like a diamond, and he has done that. Um, Mark says, not the best performance from us, but we will take it. Kyle Boloan says, fucking hell, lads. I about had a heart attack. My hearts were on the ropes. James says, pretty poor performance. Good to see we still got a result. Kid, Devlin is a liability. Gave away the free kick unnecessarily that led to both the chances and one led to the goal. Adds nothing. He runs a bit, but yeah, I think there's a lot of similarities between Cammy Devlin and Connor Barron. They do a lot of running about, don't they, at the end of the day? Peter McCarter says, glad we came back, but we need to start learning how to use the ball better. We reset before Critchley for a long period of that game. I will never accept fatigue as an excuse either because they're professional athletes. They aren't up to maximum fitness levels. Why not? Mikey Keefe, far too many players in this team that shouldn't be anywhere near it. Woeful performance. Very, very lucky. Uh, Keith Elliott, point it. Fester Road will do us after playing on Thursday night. Stuart Deacon, someone has to tell Cammy Devlin to stop filing in dangerous areas. Cost us the goal today. Could have been more if Hibs were half decent in front of goal. Hibs were. Could have done more if they were half decent. But we're going to see what the Hibs fans think. And Hibs, they said it finishes level at Easter Road. Hibs don't seem as enthusiastic about the draw as Hearts admin did, but at the end of the day, is what it is. Rangers chat says, that crowd for a supposed derby match. Yeah, I mean, people, people will be giving him pelters, right? I've no doubt. But I, I thought... I thought the atmosphere wasn't that good, I'll be honest. Normally the Ember Derby blows it out of the water. Um, but honestly, I I mean, when I say it wasn't that good, I mean, it still shits over pretty much everything in England. Like, But I mean, is that what we're, is that what we're setting the, uh, the standard at? You know, we can do better, but uh, Dooley says, get Grey gone, 1-0 up, and Grey's bottled it away, it's awful tactics and game management, no fight in the team, culture is toxic, clowns running the club, imposters everywhere, Gordon should be ashamed what he's turned this club into. Changes need it from top to bottom. So, pff, fucking hell, man. No holding back here. Absolutely stuck in. Burgess Wright says, Can Gray please leave? Hibs fans are not liking Davy Gray awfully much here. Stephen says, Another win thrown away. Miller's marking pathetic for the goal. May as well be a traffic, may as well have a traffic cone in goals as well. Logan Stewart, has Gray not realised that we can't sit back, so taking all our attackers off just to concede and have nothing going forward isn't working. Yeah, well, I mean, I actually touched on this during the, the the review and the watch along. It's like Hibbs got the goal, and then it was like, right, let's just let's just bottle it then. Pretty pretty fucking embarrassing to say the least, because Hearts 
I mean, I, I said that Hibs had the better chances, but Hearts were playing the better football. But see, when Hibs scored, man, the the arse went. It just turned into the Heart of Midlothian show. Basil Lewis Miller makes me think I've got a chance at this level. I'm 47 with my man Chebs, but but think I'm better. <laughs> but think I'm better than him. Might take my boots down to East Mains on Monday. Uh, Richard, who's the fucking coach, Samson or Gray? He seems to be the one shouting all the instructions. Focus on that goalkeeper you're the coach of. Hibs Central. It's somehow a new low every week. Hibs getting boring now. It's getting a wee bit boring now, isn't it? At the end of the day, from a Hibs perspective, just, they're just not doing it. Hibs are not doing it. Absolutely not doing it. You know, uh, it seems to be that they're, they're leading every game. Or at least drawing. Drawing or leading going into like the last 15 minutes. And it's an incredible start from the 76th minute to the 90 odd minutes, man, that Hibs have. Hibs have like, just conceded so many goals. James Wilson, he's one of our own. Stephen Lennon, Miller and Berserk cost us every week. Remove them out the team. Keep the same. Uh, pl keep playing the same adequate players. It will cost you your job. Paul McGinn is and was miles better than Miller. Well, he didn't say miles, but he is, he was, he is. All that good stuff. All that good stuff, guys. Brilliant. Fantastic. And then what else have we got? Yeah, done fuck all but sit back after scoring and Bursic is fucking shocking. I, I don't really rate the goalkeeper Hibs have got. I really don't. I really, really don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, 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 oh. Don't rate him. Do not rate him. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to leave it. Um, Yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty... I mean, I, the Biles says it best here. That's eight goals conceded and none scored in the final 15 minutes of games played so far. Grey limps on as we didn't lose, but writing on the wall, Hibs going down this season. I don't know if they're going down, but I, I think they're in a battle for going down. I mean, you can't say it's nailed on, but I think when you look at what Ross County and St. Johnson are doing, it's like you would expect those two to be doing there. But I'd expect if Hibs sacked the manager for there to be some turnaround. 